Hello there. We have the Crypt Terror. It's another short horror game, indie, of course, by Daniel Buckley. I think that's how you say it. Links in the description if you want to play it yourself before we start. This is a, about a game about a curse in a town, and we're sent down into the dungeons, I guess, at the depths to go get rid of it. Uh, I don't have the description in front of me, so I'm kind of paraphrasing it. All right, let's play. Okay, 3rd of May, 1336. Whoops, skipped something. Three weeks ago, a curse was bestowed upon the town of Shiborn. Livestock killed, the crops des desiccated, decimated? I want to say decimated. Madness grew. Desecrated. Right. Shrieks and chant were heard from the town's foregone catacombs. Many believed that to be the source that to be the source of the town's curse. Lord I just realized we played a game from this person before. It's about the boy, I think. The, the king the king's boy. Commanded the town's clerky clerky? Clerk to go down and rid them of this evil. One by one they entered the depths of darkness, yet none returned. The corruption only grew, and now by the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. Well, shit. What is he gonna say next, the gesture? Okay. Farewell. Why don't you send your soldiers? Is that a dragon? What is that? Oh, that's just a tree. Me rid of is this evil. Hmm. I will try my best. Good good day. Hope to see you all again. I probably won't though. We're so dead. Oh, quick side note. Apparently this is uh Daniel B Buckley's own first horror game. I didn't realize that. So, yeah. So I guess this is the prequel to the other one we played? Maybe? I'm not sure. Well, the sound of the... Th we don't even hear the sound of the... Uh, the rope, the gears, or whatever that is. I guess we're just too far away from it. Oh, we're down. All right, let's enter the catacombs. Well, this is dark. It's a good thing we got our light, huh? Left or right? Hmm. Let's go right. So this could might be a pretty short game. So it's probably going to be a companion with another. We'll see. Oh, more decisions. Let's go this way. Let's continue around. Is it just a giant square? That's what it looks like. I can't sprint. Can't jump. Can't crouch. Oh, I can crouch. Good to know. Yeah, it was just a giant square. So it didn't really matter what direction we went. The correct way was down the stairs. Holy crap. Wait a minute. Uh, for a second, I thought we were going in a loop. It's like, what? So, is that what this is about? Oh, this looks familiar. Wait, this is where I died in the last game. I think. Uh oh. Do I have any weapons? What? No? So, wait, you mean to tell me they, they sent me down here without even, like, a book or anything? How am I supposed to kill the evil without any, like, holy items? Why even bother knocking? We know it down here is a monster, so... Heck, I wouldn't come down here without a sh any short of a sword and a holy book, I guess. Because I'm, 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 a, I'm a cleric, right? So... Three doors. Hmm. Well, the middle one's too obvious. Let's go to the right one. 
Are these all? Uh, okay, let's not go to the one with all the blood. That that seems like a bad idea. This one goes down, though. Hmm. Wonder. Yeah, this is the same place that uh, we went into in the last game. Well, at least we know what we're up against. Wait a minute. Did we just, didn't we just come from here? Hmm. Wait. This, I feel like we're going in a circle. Hmm. If there's a door over here, then it's a giant circle. Oh my god, it is a giant circle. Alright. So I guess we'll just continue across the bridge to the right, then. What's, what's straight ahead, though? Oh. A dead end. That would have been a perfect jump scare, by the way. Reminiscence of fear, actually. You turn around and there's something there and it disappears. Uh, okay, that's further down. That's just a dead end. Let's just go, let's continue straight. I feel like that might, oh, okay, I guess we're going down. Don't really have much choice, do we? Oh. Going further in. Well, this is looks interesting. What made this hole? It's almost like a snake did this. Oh. oh that's interesting. Doors. Oh! Jesus! Christ! Oh my god. Well, can't say I expected that. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that, that was a good jump scare. I just had no expectations for that to happen like that. Very unexpected, I'll give you that, Daniel. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was the Crypt Terror. I'm not sure if there's any other way to play it. That might just be it. But, uh, yeah, links in the description if you want to try it yourself. And, yeah, I recommend headphones. Probably better for he with headphones. Well, because that game was really short, I think we're going to go ahead and play another one. So I'll see you in the next game. Driving Home by Jemez. The link's in the description if you want to try it yourself before we start. Uh, it's a short horror in the game when we just were driving home and we realized we forgot to fuel our car and we're stranded and we gotta find someone to help us. Let's see if we can survive. It was a Thursday, November 16th. I was working late. I drove home. Yeah, we're driving. Oh, it actually, actually has real driving controllers. Controls. Moist. I thought it was just gonna be like a cutscene. No way. 
Nice. Is this car stuck in first gear or something? Like, <laughs> like. I feel like we're stuck in first gear. There might be something wrong with this transmission. I might want to get that checked. going to happen. Seems like we're just cruising at a jogging pace for some reason. Like, I get the car's low on gas, but does I mean, I don't know. There's not much to say right now. Do I actually have to just keep driving until I run out of fuel? Is that what we're doing? I'm not really sure. Dang. You know, I can definitely say that at least this has never happened to me, so that's good. Always double check everything before you go on a trip. I tried using my phone, but it didn't get any signal. Well, we are in the middle of nowhere. Decided to follow the road until I find a gas station or something. And you just left your car on? I mean, the battery will die. Might want to at least take the keys out. But, you know, each to their own. Each to their own. That sign kind of creeped me out for a second there. <laughs> like I thought this was the, like a body or something and it was like the eyes. So it looks already we got some issues up here. <laughs> Not much really going on. It's creepy though. Apparently we're so far away we don't even see the headlights of our car anymore. Oh, a house. We can call for help here. I saw a house. I decided to go there and ask for help. Yeah, that seems logical. Always knock three times. Oh, only twice? Okay. Knocked on the door, but no one answered. So then you leave. Okay, we're done. Let's just move on, you know? I mean, th this is the rational thing to do. It's not like we should investigate the house or anything. Okay, so, yeah, we're supposed to go in the house. Why would you do this? Wh why would you go in someone's house just because they don't answer the door in the middle of nowhere? That doesn't seem like a very good idea, but... Especially since, like, no one seems to even be in there. Oh, the back door's open. That's really odd. Huh. Hello? Anyone there? I gotta find a telephone. No line. That's not good. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh. What's that sound? Thought maybe there might be fuel in the house, so I continued looking. That's essentially what you mean, right? Alright, so let's go to the garage. You have to find the key. So where would the key be? Well, usually the keys are probably in the... Maybe the bedroom? Or the storage closet? On the counter, maybe? In the kitchen? 
keep hearing something. I don't know what it is, but... This is very odd, by the way. An abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. Okay, hmm. there's no sign of any key anywhere. Is there an upstairs? Okay, uh, I must be just missing something. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. So I was right. It was in the bedroom. I just didn't check both of both the nightstands. My mistake. Oh. Um. Um. Well, that's not good. Okay, we should just leave, huh? Yeah, I think we should just leave. Is there any fuel in here, by the way? Yeah, there is. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and take that. Okay, why don't we just? Why? Why are we not going through the front door? Why? Why are we walking through the house and around the back again? That seems pretty stupid. So we're running the okay to the car. Let's go. Let's beeline it to the car. I feel, I feel like something was following me. Oh, there probably is. You might want to run faster than this. I mean, with adrenaline going through your body, I feel like I'd be able to run like 20 miles, miles per hour or something. Stay through my car. I will feel it and drive away. Oh, well, nothing's behind us. So that's good. The killer's gonna be in the back seat, aren't they? It's going to be like that cliche, when you get in the car, you feel safe, and then you die. So is, that, is, that, is that how this is going to go? Uh, I don't see anyone in the back seat. Alright, well, time to die, because they're probably in the back seat. Always check the back seat before getting into a car in the middle of nowhere. And also other places someone can hide. This car seriously needs some, like, inspection. Like, this is the slowest car I've ever freaking been in before. It's claiming we're going 35 right now. Why aren't you speeding faster? That's... There's no way we're going that fast. This is so slow. So... Oof. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I was right. We died by someone in the back seat. Well, how's driving home? Moral of the story, make sure you make sure you're... What the heck was that about? Anyway, make sure you fuel your car before going on a long trip. And don't walk into a random house that looks abandoned. That'd probably be a good idea. Anyway, if you want to play it yourself, it's in the description as usual. Hope you all having a good day and night or whatever time it might be for you. See you guys next time. Take care.